as I was making the Domingo Herman sticky fingers rosin bag breakdown, I ran into this at bat in the first inning where he faces Carlos Correa, and I thought it was a great bit of pitch sequencing. So if you're into this thing, here we go. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. This is a little quick one. The first pitch, he's going to open up fastball inside, and the ump calls it a strike. So now Carlos Correa is kind of thinking, oh, wait, I don't. Maybe he thinks that's too inside. Now he's exposed there. He's got to protect against the inside. So Domingo Herman puts another fastball on top of the last one, but this time outside. So both 93 miles per hour. Pitch number one is the one that was inside. Pitch number two goes outside. He gets that call for a strike as well. And now that he's on the outside edge, he's just going to play around on the outside edge. Off of that outside fastball, he's going to mix a changeup. And Carlos Correa swings at that, and he's a little off balance on the swing and fouls it back. Really cool pitch sequencing because you can see same arm slot, you know, same basic movement of the pitch, but one is way slower and gets an off balance swing. And that one kind of moved arm side run, they call it, so it went left to right. Now with two strikes, he's going to exploit that pitch with another one. He's going to say, okay, you just saw a pitch that started outside and came into you. You swung. You were a little off balance. Now I'm going to throw one. Goes the other way. And he gets the swing and miss using the slider. And I don't even know how good of a slider this is because it seems like, you know, this is the type of pitch you see a batter swing at and you're like, what are you doing? But he was set up so well because he had the fastball on the outside. He had the change up on the outside. Correa is trying to protect it. And that ball goes way away. And you got to pitch to waste so you can afford throwing a ball. But Correa chases. I thought that was awesome pitch sequencing. In the very next at bat, Buxton's up. And he goes curveball first pitch looking. Just they call it a get me over curve. Probably knew he wasn't going to swing. Boom, you're ahead. Strike one. Off of that curveball. He matches it with a low fastball, beats him to the spot. Wow, that's nice. I mean, same line, Buxton wants it, but he's a little behind because he's used to the curveball speed. Off of the fastball, he's going to match it with a slider, the next pitch. There you go. And now on this one, it's over... It's overlaid, so you can't really tell, but he doesn't swing at this slider. He just kind of thinks about it and stops himself. But Domingo threw a pitch that went right to left. That's what's in Buxton said. That's what he last saw. And he sequences right off of that and goes back to the changeup, does the same thing he did to Correa, but opposite, throws one that goes left to right, swing and miss. First inning, Domingo used his full arsenal, sequenced all his pitches, and to, to sequence them well like that, you got to hit all your spots perfectly as as well. So I thought that was cool. I thought it was interesting. I was like, oh, damn, good job, Domingo. I'll talk about it on a video. And people may enjoy it and they may watch it. And if they do, they may subscribe to the channel.